And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next landmark deck. We have our new Monuments of Power expansion. We are now going to be playing a ramp deck, you know, um, Targon and Freljord. Not the two new here with Trundle, Aurelian Soul, but we're going to have the Howling Abyss. This should be a lot of fun, just like uh, we just had the University card. That was a lot of fun getting three random cards every single turn. This one, round start, we're going to be creating in hand a random level two champion. So that should be really sweet. So we're going to have two Howling Abysses in here. We're going to have one Voices of the Old Ones to be a big ramp spell. We got one of these in here to get the two extra mana gems or maybe draw some other cards. And, you know, like if, if we don't need it there in the late game. Also going with this new card, Divergent Paths, where we can destroy our opponent's landmarks. Or if we don't need to, we can just draw a landmark. So we can use this as a tutor. So for three mana, we can draw the Howling Abyss so that we're able to play it. So we can kind of play more copies of the Howling Abyss with these Divergent Paths. So that should be pretty sweet. All right, but yeah, let's uh, play some Howling Abyss Ramp. We're gonna go play our five games with our next brand new Monuments of Power deck. All right, playing against some Tom Kench Ash. All right, so we got a whole bunch of cheap stuff. I don't think we need all of that cheap stuff. Maybe we'll just keep like Sentry and Tavern Keeper. Maybe we just don't even keep Tavern Keeper, actually. We'll just keep Sentry. Because we want to find Ramp, right? Like, definitely want to find some of our Ramp cards. No Ramp has been found oh, as of yet. I could not play that, and then, like, Catalyst of, like, the reason to not play that would be Catalyst of Aeons, but I'd still be able to play Weirding Stones either way. Didn't do anything turns one, two, three, or four. I will unite the frail yard. Aberrations stand together. All right. Ooh, divergent pass. I can draw our landmark for us. If we need it later. Go get him, Trundle. They probably are sitting on a whole bunch of Frostbite spells. That would be my guess. Alright, just attack him for four. Can't really play anything. I guess I go Divergent Paths, draw our Landmark, so we play the Landmark next turn. I guess. It's kind of weird having no ramp spells. Like, we don't even have even the 8th mana ramp spell. Which, that would work out... Like, that would work really well right here. We have the new 8 mana one that gives you 2 mana gems, so the next turn we would just go... You know, we'd have, like, the Ice Pillar and Mind Splitter and all that kind of stuff next turn. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. Oh, that's an annoying card. No, Tom Kench cannot eat landmarks, no. The trolls are going to war! Ready when you are. Always ready. Ice runs in our veins. Finally we got a ramp spell. A little too late, would have rather had it last turn. Alright, let's start getting some level two champions. Out here, only the Scarmother. We fight as one. That is our strength. All right, first random level two champion. What do we get? Swain. Okay. Okay. May not play Swain. Probably just be playing Infinite Mind Splitter this turn. I guess we go Ice Pillar first.
Uh, that's a that's a good question, Dynamito. Which cards did they update to interact with singular with uh, landmarks? I know, yeah, I know about singular will and also the um, their like the celestial card that like obliterates a unit can also obliterate a champion. So they want to be able to like frostbite and then be able to attack for a whole bunch, I think. But I feel like I may want to be able to block with this infinite mind splitter or just, you know, it takes it takes like the frostbite thing. I don't really need that 4-3. So next turn I can play Aurelian Soul, right? I can gain 10, play Aurelian Soul. Because can I go, like, Catalyst, gain the Mana Gem, and now we're Enlightened, and then play Revitalizing Roar with us being Enlightened, and reduce this cost to zero, and then play it? Pretty sure I can do that. Because that's my plan. Nothing's tougher than a troll! Can't believe they traded away the Rhymefang Wolf. That's a big surprise. They just traded away Ramping Wolf. All right, what we got now? Ooh, Soraka. Each time we heal a damaged ally, we draw a card, and that's going to be each regeneration we draw a card. Well, that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna have too. I have too many cards at hand. <laughs> you know, if we're, we're drawing a new level 2 champion every turn, if we're drawing cards off Soraka each turn, I can't draw all these cards. And our Aurelian Soul is creating cards for us. Much value. So stupid. Oh, here. Bow to your this is gonna be fun. So that's definitely good for me that they're using the harsh winds on my attacking turn, and they're doing that so my Aurelian soul doesn't level up. But that's definitely good for me right now, because that's like that's the only way my opponent wins this is by getting, um, you know, like a, a lethal, like a big lethal swing with Ash, like having all my stuff be frostbitten. That's how my opponent wins this game. And so having them use harsh winds, you know, they have a finite number of harsh winds certainly, and so having them use that on my turn definitely good for us. So you have too too much value. <laughs> too much awesome stuff. Let fly. So I guess if I go Cosmic Inspiration, it would pump this Trundle and Ice Pillar up so they aren't frostbitten anymore, as far as blocking is concerned. Um, it's either that or just keep playing, you know, new new blockers. Play new blockers. I chose to come here. <laughs> yeah, this landmark is kind of insane. Uh, it doesn't block though, but besides that, it is pretty insane. Aren't any gods here? Just me. What will you do? Take heart. So I have three blockers now. They have four attackers. You know, assuming you attack with Ash, that takes out one blocker. So 
we can go walk. You are better than this. So we're gonna generate again. We're just generating so many cards. I don't even want to play this Avrosen Sentry. I need to get out of out of my hand so I can draw a card. <laughs> so we get we get a, a champion with a Howling Vis. We get a Celestial card with a Rillian Soul, and now we're drawing a card for turn. This Moon Silver was actually a good draw, so we can just you know so we can play that and get it out of our hand. That's that's actually a good draw. Let me do all this cool stuff. Alright, here comes Zed. Bring me the calm of an eye shrouded really where my opponent messed up was trading away their Rhyme Tusk Shaman. If they just don't do that, they may have won this game. Fully heal those, draw another card. All right, this is pretty silly. So it's an eight seven because it's a six five because Zed's a six five, but then it also gets the cosmic inspiration boost afterwards. So it turns it into an eight seven. So that's kind of like how like Poro Snacks works similar to that, like with the, uh, the Poro that eats all the other Poros. See, we're playing a Soraka deck. Y'all wanted to see Soraka in action? Here we go. Fighting's a bloody business. So that gives us 24 power, so not enough to level up Aurelian Soul. But I think we're going to be okay. Ooh. How about a 5-5 leveled up Twisted Fate? And a Written in Stars? That's a cool card. Oh, our Troll Chant's gone. Troll Chant would have actually been a good card. The Howling Abyss. Hi. Uh, I just get rid of Trundle? That can't be right to get rid of Trundle. Can it? I have too many cool cards. I guess I get rid of Soraka. Oh, no, 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 what did I do? No, 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 I didn't want to play that. Oh, I meant to play Twisted Fate. Oh, I just I just clicked on the wrong card. Whoops. Because I definitely wanted to play Revitalizing Roar this turn. I don't know. Uh, another Infinite Mind Splitter, I guess. So I was planning on going Twisted Fate into Revitalizing Roar after that. Because, right, like, just getting back up to 20 is just the safest thing. Alright, just attacking in with the 8-1. No we'll just block with Soraka. Sorry, Soraka. We're going to have to replace you anyway. You did good, though. And this... This, like, leveled up Soraka art is pretty epic. Also. Oh, we don't get to level up Aurelian Soul. They have conceded. Awesome game. That was pretty crazy. And no ramp. No ramp in there for us. That was only game number one. <laughs> Here we go, game number two. So, of course, we're trying to go very big. Um, weird. So, the thing about Weirding Stones is it's a good ramper, but... And we want ramp, but it, you know, it gets killed fairly easily by these things. I think I'll still keep it though, because it's just it's good ramp. Um, and we'll keep we'll keep the troll chant to be able to protect weirding stones for a little bit. I'm only getting the two drop, uh, 
and you know obviously mulliganing are really insult because it costs so much mana but then just also mulliganing the two drop because then that's just more fuel for fiora so i'm actually just wanting less fuel for fiora And I have to play Weirding Stones, because if I don't, they just pass turn. And then th that's a nightmare. Okay, I could go Trundle, or we could go both Weirding Stones and Catalyst of Aeons. And if I if we do that, that's two more ramp. So then we're looking at eight mana next turn. So we're looking at being able to play Infinite Mind Splitter next turn. Which that's probably good. The eye of Twilight sees all. Yay, no single combat. We swim within the flows of magic. Magic. I also don't have to play Infinite Mind Splitter right here. Maybe we just go, like, Trundle. And then have one of these things to protect Weirding Stones. Uh, we could also just play Avalanche, I guess. Maybe that's the thing. It's just Avalanche. Sorry, Weirding Stones. You were cool, though. Especially with this River Shaper that's going to draw them spells. I don't want them to draw spells. But yeah, we would have had turn 5 Mind Splitter if we wanted it. Alright, they're going to draw spells. Alright, uh, I guess I will heal this then. And again, no reason to play the Troll Scavenger. I will wait. I will save my two mana so I have Troll Chant available to protect the Infinite Mind Splitter. It's going to shut down those two. So if they're going to be trying like Concerta Strike or something like that on my Mind Splitter. We will be. You know, we'll have a little protection for it. By the, way, by the way, Hawk, you wondered about dragons being accepted in Demacia with magic being bad and dragons good. <laughs> now, is your... Okay, the Shivana text says she is our most hated foe. Okay, so they... So they don't... So Demacians don't like dragons either, but they use them. So that's how it works. When you say she is our most hated foe, who's the one talking? Is that... De those are... That's Demacian saying that? You're covered. Duty. Like, what perspective Heavy is saying that? What form will the waters take? Yeah, I definitely think there's going to be more diversity in the metagame. I've, I thought the diversity in the metagame has been fairly good. Just in this game, Water just in general. Harvey. Sorry. Okay, so Living Legends doesn't refill our doesn't refill our spell mana anymore, but I think it's still probably better than taking one of those other just large units. Just see what we get. So they have another River Shaper, um, which I assume they're going to just use a barrier on the other River Shaper. So we're going to block here, and we're going to block. Here. We'll take the three. I think they're gonna use like repost on River Shaper. Which will grow the Green Glade Caretaker, and we'll just have one Weirding Stones be able to block that. We walk between realms. Okay. Nature. The balance has been maintained. Stand united. Nature. So they could have done, they could have just killed me if they would have just stand united this thing. Yeah, they could have just killed me. I guess I had troll chance, so I wouldn't have died, but they could have tried to kill me at least. 
No, I'm not gonna let them draw a spell. I wouldn't I wouldn't just say that before this patch it was only just Bilgewater, Noxus, then Lee Sin and War Mothers, and that's it, those three decks. That's that's not really fair. Those are the three most popular decks, yes. That's not all that was played. You could probably expect to play against those three decks like 50 to 60 percent of the time but you still another 40 to 50 percent you were not playing against those three all right i think it's trundle time this thing makes humans look smart what thing where so i guess i'm gonna go uh trundle and kindly tavern keeper cannot protect that what form will the waters take that could definitely be bad. What will you have? Maybe we're going to play Scavenger 2. I was planning on saving this 3 spell mana, but actually I think I just want the blocker now with this coming out. He yeah, so has dragons or celestials that you can have in play with this. And if I didn't play the 4 3, I guess I would have been able to have the mana for that. I don't really want to play Ice Pillar before they attack. Because then they just get to challenge that with Shen. Okay. Everything I have is blocking. We're blocking every single thing. We're not going to have a stand united kill me. So it's just how do we want to block? So I think we need to we need to put a lot of pressure on them. Um, which is going to be uh, you just get in front of that thing. And then you get in front of this thing. And then eat that, eat that. Eat that, eat that. The cosmos will collapse eventually. I think no. I don't want that to get reposted. I guess now this can get reposted, but a really insult can get reposted if they got reposted. My father's blade. Because I don't think they have anything that gives overwhelm. I like that Howling Abyss draw. Alright, that's fine. Don't get to play my other Aurelian Soul yet. So basically the question is, do we want to play the Great Beyond, or do we want to play the Howling Abyss? I think we have, we already have such ridiculous card advantage in hand that we don't really need the Howling Abyss. So we'll play the Great Beyond. And then next turn, new Aurelian Soul, and that should level up Aurelian Soul. All right, so there we go. No, no, they just were AFK. Because they were definitely single combat River Shaper into Trundle. Okay, so, so dragons are more mistrusted than hated. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Smashing. Plus five? That's a bunch. To the stars. One smack will do. Currents pull them down. Vanquish the ugly. 
We know they got a bunch of spells in hand because these river shapers. They should have a bunch more barriers. Alright, trundle down. But we took out the 15 too. That's pretty big. Alright, so they have you know another spell, another another challenger. As long as they're not killing us, we're gonna be winning the late game. As long as they're not killing us. We'll be fine. Who does not know the name Laurent? The thing, the thing that I'm worried about is that taps me out. So now we just have four blockers. So if they're able to go like, I mean, but another unit, another unit, have like six units, something I can't block. Okay, now like this with Stand United, does that kill me? No, because Stand United's gonna do only five damage. So now Stand United can't kill me. Okay. What form will the waters take? All right, level up a Reliant Soul. Oh no, I was going to be able to use my Rillian Soul emote. You've been wonderful, as have I. All right, here we go. We're playing against um, Soraka, Tom Kench. First time seeing those two together. We are going to have ramp, ramp, and let's look for some payoff. Could see keeping Troll Chant, because just Troll Chant is just such a good spell. But we're going to need some payoff. So Shivana was stolen by a mage from her mother and got accepted when she took her dragon form to protect the people of Demacia from her mother. So she was stolen away from her mother, yet she still... Wait, wait. but then she comes back and protects everybody else from her mother? So her dilemma is supposed to be that she betrayed dragons, so they don't like her, but humans also don't trust her. Boxtopus. It's a cool card. Just, uh, just pretend I'm the way. Of course, it's a challenger. You can, can start hitting my weirding stones, but... I mean, I guess there I could, I could probably check... Pass. I just never want to like pass and then and then they don't let me play anything, right? Like that's the worst case scenario. Is like if I would have just passed priority and they just don't attack, that would have been the worst case scenario. But they do have the lounging lizard that is um, kind of required to attack when you have that card. So it's unlikely that they would have just passed. Ooh, they got two of these. That's kind of a problem because we have. Wow, that's going to be pretty rough. Double of those. I was going to say, we, we do have, um, you know, some landmark removal, but having two of those just doubles, makes that so much faster. Uh, yeah, I don't, th I don't think we're beating that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we're beating that. Now Soraka here. <clears throat> wow, I think this is game over. They've already healed damage allies four plus times. Didn't they just do that twice? Oh, it's just each one did it twice. So each one counts as one, two, then three, four. Yeah, GG's. Uh... The trolls are going to war. Ready when you are. Always ready. Okay, so the old Tarek came from a parallel universe for no reason and just started to help people. The end. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little surprised that Soraka is not attacking and doing the full heal thing, but I guess it's already going to heal anyway. I guess maybe I need to use Troll Chant. I don't know. I just kind of feel like this game, this game's over. Game looks very over. I don't know. Maybe it's not over. So the thing is, I can't even attack because they just block with Soraka. 
literally can't even attack because they just block with Soraka and then it just heals and then that just helps them win the game. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth though. I can't take their thing I can't let their things take damage because then it just gets them closer to winning. Um, so right now I gotta find a figure out a way to deal with this lounging lizard. Infinite Mind Splitter, what do you do? Remember, never saw me. We're gonna be stopping these lounging lizards. Maybe we go the opposite way. Maybe I stun Soraka and Mentor the Stones and force them to block with lounging lizard. I feel like they're supposed to be popping up Lounging Lizard. Listen and learn. Take heart. Live with purpose. I guess we do. Alright, we'll do Soraka and one Lounging Lizard. I definitely feel like they want to replace this Mentor of the Stones. They don't have any space. We still have six mana depending on like what our celestial card is. Could be something. Oh wait, we always it's always something that costs seven or more, right? It's not that we don't get the random card yet. Obviously, it's the scourge or cosmic rays. I kind of want to just take the scourge. Uh, get that plus two, plus two, and overwhelm for all this stuff. And just kill them immediately because I don't think we can like you know we have to try to end the game as fast as possible with the star spring. The star spring has been. Finishing the game a lot slower than I expected. All right, so they're passing. Pretty sure I'm just gonna also pass. Well, I'll knock them dead. I mean, I feel like I can just also pass, right? And then just you know try to set it up so I kill them next turn. So they're gonna heal four. I don't know if I attack. All right, we're gonna attack, but I don't know. I kind of feel like this is it's better to just pass like that's the kind of thing like new cards i don't know you know like so they're because they get these metro this you know get all these gems i'm not sure we'll have to see what they do here but i feel like this like, what they had out there probably wasn't going to kill me, but maybe they play stuff here that, that will kill me. That, like, if I just didn't make that attack. So, like, that attack's not killing them, right? Like, them being at 14 or them being at 2, it's not really any difference, right? It's the same thing, basically. Like, it's just going to be one attack. Yeah, now, now, they're, now they play two of these things. Yeah, that's probably a bad attack. Yep, should have passed turn. Should have passed turn. I don't, I don't think stunning the mentor, I don't think that's really that big a deal, like with the, that gem, I don't think that really changes anything, because like, that, that, that amount that it healed would have been healed anyway, I don't think that really, there's like one more, I don't think that changed anything, I think that, My, how they stare. Um, I just don't think I should have made that attack, whenever they, whenever they were willing to pass to me, 
Should have allowed that pass. That's true. Should have played the, the troll over the 2-1 so they can't make that challenge. That's true. That was something I didn't consider immediately until like right now, until seeing this right now. I need to give an ally minus two minus zero. I need to give this troll minus two minus zero. Because yeah, now now they can challenge the four three. Go, floaty crystals. Where are you off to? Oh, I love that. Please do that. Thank you. Ice Quake. So Ice Quake could. If we want to go Ice Quake, that could kill both of these things. So that's four that they can't heal. But now they could just heal them in response. They, I'm sure they probably have heal cards. They could just do in response. Wow. Okay. They don't have any heal cards. Like what? What could they have in their hand? It had to have just been all units, I guess. So yeah, I wouldn't expect people to play brand new cards perfectly. It's gonna be interesting with Twisted Fate Soraka. Let's look for some ramp. Was our ramp? They probably, yeah, they did have a great start for them. They probably learned a lot in that game also, and so, you know, they they could be thinking that too of like, okay, mess some mess some stuff up, learned a lot, and and going forward with it. Yeah, Soraka has looked really good. I mean, we played it game two, or no, no, game one. We had a game one, and it looked great for us. Then our opponent had a game two, and it looked pretty good. I, I want an avalanche. These are troll lands. But these are troll lands. We can probably get a better avalanche. Or double avalanche. Yeah, I think they were they were supposed to win that game. Every land's got a secret. I'll knock them dead. I think it's a safe attack. Safe attack. And drown. Hope I didn't need that. Is this not safe? Who's on top of the bounty board today? No, it's not. Bounty board. We got bounty boards. Just gonna get rid of these mountain goats. Cause that's my plan. A little snow and I think we figured out what their plan was. Listen and learn. So I have to hit troll chant. It doesn't really make any sense to. Okay, I say it doesn't really make any sense to hit that because um, to just heal the Trundle. Because Troll Chant, you know, Troll Chant would save it either way. I think I'm just planning on Avalanche again. Well, this Lounging Lizard is about to die. I think it's about to die, but I guess not if they're willing to play that. Not again. Oh no! Man, I wanted to play you, Avalanche. I really did. I can't pass up on... I can't 
can't pass up on the Howling Abyss. So now, obviously, I would, I really wish I would have just played one of these two, the Avros and Sentry or Tavern Keeper, this past turn. Um, you know, but I didn't play them. Didn't play them because I was going to just Avalanche. Uh. The problem is when they start having two Star Springs. Having two of these, that's a huge problem. The one's not bad. Off you go. Don't stand in my way. I should have stayed home, pal. Once you get two of these. Yeah, obviously I, I should have played one of these two. I think I threw that game. I guess I should should have just played the Avalanche also. I threw that game. Best teacher's experience. Let's see what this looks like. That two mana landmark is looking fantastic. I'm not sure about Troll Scavenger. I guess we keep it. We already have a ramp card on turn three. Yeah, Divergent's definitely going to be the key. In Avarosa's name. Absolutely keeping that card. There's always fighting eight punch Pablo. Doesn't mean I'm not ramping this turn, but oh well. Just need to kill that thing. gonna wait on weirding stones because we're gonna have five mana next turn for trundle anyway so i think i could play the weirding stones on turn six to ramp us to eight so then we go right to you know the ice pillar infinite mind splitter after that But now what do we do? Do we play Trundle into this? These are troll so I'm not even going to be able to ramp with Weirding... Like, Weirding Stones isn't going to do anything ever now. You had your chance to walk away. So we'll just take the Ice Pillar... You know, we do have the attack token on the even turn, so whenever we do get to turn 8, and it's only turn 5, but so in 3 turns when we do get to turn 8, we will be able to Ice Pillar, um, you know, maybe get Tom Kench with that Mind Splitter, maybe challenge Tom Kench. I don't know. What a game for Avalanche, though, right? What if I would have had Avalanche this game? <laughs> that would have looked good. Okay, well, that's just... Plenty of room inside. That's just us dead. Hey, Big Alfredo. I'm sure there's something for my tastes. I'm not giving up. We're still we're playing right now, Cabo. I'm not. I haven't given up. I'm just... I can see the Nebastian border from here. 
We would not be playing the game if I, if I had given up. Come on in. But do you see any any positive ending right now for us? I haven't, I haven't seen one yet. I don't, I don't see. I don't see one yet. The best thing is that you know that Tom Kench leveling up does go to three power. And so my ice pillar will make it vulnerable. Um, so that's definitely good. That's the best thing right now with like that with them blocking with the three one and then leveling up Tom Kench. We can try to do ice pillar infinite mind splitter. But, uh, so they can take out one of these for free. I could see them going towards the Ice Pillar, letting me keep Weirding Stones, which would be nice for Aurelian Soul the next turn. I don't think I can pass. Like, if they play it correctly, I can't pass. Um, because they can just, you know, go to their turn and, and just keep healing things and go towards the Star Spring and stuff. So, like, if... I could pass and see if they play it incorrectly and... Let's see if this works. Alright, so hushing their own Tom Kench so it doesn't bring back, so we don't get the captured allies back. Alright, but now we're, we're looking okay. They do have the landmark, which is going towards the win, but Tom Kench is gone and we are going to play Aurelian Soul. We need to find a card that can obliterate a landmark. That's the goal. Yeah, that's a good that's a good use for hush. that's how hush should be. Obliterate two units or landmarks. All right, so now this card says landmarks. I wish they would have said that in the patch. Um, patch 112 notes. I wish they would have just just said all of the cards that are being updated uh, to include landmarks in them, such as Supernova. Oh, we don't behold another thing yet, do we? We need we need to wait till next turn and have a really soul survive, which it should, and that will create another card. It's another Celestial. Why, how they stare. Oh, well now I can just use this to destroy a landmark. We don't need to waste our really good Obliterate card yet. There's always room for supper. Get a Tom Kench. Alright, second Thomas down. Oh no, they're going for the third landmark. They're going for the third landmark. But we've really slowed them down as far as winning with that landmark. I do love an audience. Uh -oh. of the stars. You may command the stars, but I forge the cosmos. What is the cosmos without the light inside us? That's, that's a that's a good question. 
It's a good question. I never love playing Infinite Mind Splitter before somebody attacks. Just tells them to attack. This thing makes humans look smart. I'm gonna play my two five drops. Like they may have like their challenger kill my O2. Yeah, and then I guess then have this. Yeah, challenge there. Those make sense. We get to draw this card now instead of at the end of the round. And of those. <laughs> Your opponent just got uh, leveled up Aurelian Soul from Howling Abyss. Oh man, that's such a beating. GG's. That is disgusting. We're gonna be trying to level up our Aurelian Soul this turn. They're only at 3 out of 22 for the Star Spring, so I'm not too worried about that. Still got a long ways to go. They need to be able to damage their own allies a lot more. They need, like, make it rain, cast it on your own stuff. <laughs> So I want to see what they play like after this, before I play my Infinite Mind Splitter. Planning on doing that, leveling up Aurelian Soul, having zero mana, Living Legends, which, I don't know, <laughs> I guess Living Legends refills your mana anyway. That's a way to, to self damage. So much for their pedestrian tricks. Our mountain girls are full of dangers, but I know. Yeah, that's another way to self damage. The constellations bow to me. <laughs> All right, zero mana, living legend. So we can, like, you know, spend ten mana on other stuff, and then play living legends. Ooh, I was gonna say I don't really have anything that costs that much mana, but now we do. Voices of the old ones. Fighting's a bloody business. Every step, a new journey. Kid. They're out there. Not gonna let them have like a free challenge on stuff to be able to like attack and have the free challenge. Live with purpose. Take heart. You must be It's likely gonna be them conceding, but I kinda hope not. I wanna play my stuff. Okay, infinite mind splitter. Cool, cool. Um. All right, back to lots of mana. Obliterate these two things. That should be GGs. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, this deck is crazy. You've been wonderful, as have I. All right, so we only lost that one game, and in that one game, I certainly felt like um, I could have played more defensively better. I feel like I could have done done better things in that that one game we lost. It's kind of the 
uh, just learning to play against new cards, and I needed to avalanche more and, and things like that. Um, but yeah, this looked this looked pretty sweet, and I liked like the divergent paths to take out those landmarks. That was definitely really important. Um, but yeah, a lot of people trying out Tom Kench, Soraka, and this deck just seems yeah, it's just going to go way over the top of them. And so if you if you like decks that go way over the top, and you like being able to do crazy things, this can certainly be the deck for you because we. We played, you know, with those four games, definitely like three of the four wins were just us just doing ridiculous stuff with Aurelian Soul and uh, the Howling Abyss. You know, like we played like some leveled up Zeds and uh, Soraka and we had Swain and we got to do some cool stuff with this deck. That's for sure. All right. So there we go. That's Howling Abyss Ramp. Cards. Pretty silly. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. What are you trying out in the new set? What do you want to see played on stream? Let me know in the comments and I will uh, build it, play it, that kind of stuff. What kind of champion combinations? What kind of decks do y'all want to see? All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Howling Ramp and I'll see you for the next video.